Hello, Fred Fiesta here. Okay, so I was on Reddit, and which is a habit that I need to definitely rein back in. And I learned about this subreddit that was R Learning Japanese. And it is a subreddit, not dedicated to learning Japanese, but dedicated to people who say that they're learning Japanese, but then don't do it. And, ooh, I felt triggered. Hashtag triggered. Because I have become that person. I was pretty serious about learning it for um, for a couple of years. Like, I was, you know, I took that class in like 2015. But then in some something happened in 2016 where I just sort of like s- stopped trying. And saying that sentence out loud um, makes it, it's kind of a true sentence, like full stop about my life in general, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm going to do it. I've had this game for a long time and I've worked through a little of it. And so we're going to, let's just, let's start it. And let's, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Be sure to use headphones to maximize your learning experience. That's going to be pretty important for this one here. Welcome to My Japanese Coach. I've had this for the DS. I've gone through a good portion of it. Um, and But it's been years. So we're going to start over from scratch. A lot of it's going to be recap for me for the beginning. Um, but we're going to go through it. I'm going to try to do like a lesson a day. So we'll see how that goes, because then it can be like, I'm not only getting back onto the horse for learning Japanese, I'm getting back onto the horse for doing YouTube content. You know, just try to get my life back in order here. We're going to start a new profile here. Watashi no namae wa... Pan. Des. Uh, anata wa nan desu ka? Watashi wa whatever. Otoko no hito desu. It's fine. Amerika jin desu. Hai. Alright. The first thing you need to know is how to get around. Uh, oh, placement test. Okay. You have three minutes to answer as many as you can. However, you get two wrong in a row, that will also end the test. Cool. Alright. Goodbye. Sayonara. Sayonara. No. Ie. Oh, there's 50 questions on this. Bad. Is dame. dame. This is kore. kore. Hai. Hai. Kamikaze. K- kamikaze. Oh boy. Manga. Manga. Tsunami. Tsunami. I've been watching anime. Ninja. Ninja. I've been watching anime long enough that I can recognize. Koton. Seven is Shichi. Shichi. It's also Nana. Eight is Hachi. Hachi. Three is San. San. Fifteen is uh, Jugo. Jugo. Is it just Go? Go. Gray is, oh, um, Hairo? No. Yeah. Hai-iro. Hai-iro. Brown is Chaido. I just because I recognize the other colors were not that. White is Shirori. Shirori. Red is Akai. Akai. Green is Midori. Midori. Tomorrow is Ashita. Ashita. Day is Hi. Hi. Friday is Kinyobi. Kinyobi. Monday is Getsuyobi. Getsuyobi. Thursday is Mokuyobi. Yeah. Mokuyobi. Wood day. I. Oh, E. 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 Ki. Ki. Crushing it. Ku. Ku. Ke. Is this one? Ke. Pe. 
November is 11th month, so that would be Jichi. Ichigatsu. July is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, 7. Shichigatsu. February is 2nd, so that's uh, Nigatsu. June is 6th, so that's Rokugatsu. January is 1st, so that's Ichigatsu. Easy. Te. To. So. Se. Su. Okay, you plural is anata tachi. You is just anata. Me, male, and formal is, would be boku. Those would be sodera. Me, feminine, and formal would be atashi. I like that word. Nu. It's that one. Ne is. Ne. He is that one. Fu is that one. And he. he. Perfect. Impressive work. Let's skip ahead to lesson 11. Nice. Okay. That means you have mastered 107 words before playing this game. Way to go. Thank you. I needed a W in my life. Each lesson teaches the basic concepts of Japanese by introducing new words, grammar, and phrases. You need to master all the words from the lesson before the next lesson will unlock. That's fine. This is going to be easy until we get to verbs, where it becomes incredibly difficult. Word and phrase lists have three buttons above them to help you learn. With listen selected, you hear the words spoken aloud. Speak allows you to practice saying the word. Write allows you to practice writing the word. Got it. Desu. Oh, okay, so it's just throwing me right into the lessons. Normally there's like a kind of a level select sort of thing, but I guess we're just hopping right in there, huh? Okay. Um, let's just go back for a second. You completed your first lesson. I did not. I skipped it. Um, now you're free to play more games, master points. Okay. So basically with each lesson, you get like this list of vocab and you have to master the vocab before you can continue on. Um, do you think these words are going to master themselves? Yes. Rank preschooler. That seems about right. Okay, so it's broken up here. Um, options is uh, straightforward. I do like the color coding of everything. Um, difficulty. medium um eventually we unlock this which is going to be much more helpful because right now everything is just sort of written out in romanji which is basically what we saw for most of that quiz which is the um japanese words written out using english characters so easy for an english speaker to learn because we know how to pronounce those letters um let's see Reference is just going to be our list of the things, the words that we allegedly know. Ipun. 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 Jun. Jupun. Jupun. I don't know why it's not pronouncing that one. That's fine. Um. Games is how you master the words. Um, let's see. Some of these games are much more useful than others. Multiple choice is what the whole quiz was. Hit a word is like a um, like a whack-a-mole mini game. It's not helpful at all. Um, word search is again not really helpful because it's just a word search. Um, Fading characters is actually pretty good for learning uh, the actual writing characters, so the kana and the kanji. Um, I wasn't expecting to actually like be allowed to skip ahead. I thought like a lot of this was going to be explained by the game, so 
Um, write cards is useful because that's the same thing that's writing characters. Flash cards is useful for vocab. Uh, memory, and then memory is like the matching game, not useful. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I will probably end up doing a refresher of these lessons just for the sake of the project. Um, and in fact, I think when I was playing this myself years ago, um, I got down to like here, um, but it simulates like a trip through Japan. So starting in Tokyo uh, to learn basic words which we already know, so. Hello, Haruka. It's nice to meet you. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, so starting us off with vocab, this is good. Um, I also like that it gives us uh, the actual kana, which are the This is a weird project. Um, well, if I click on it, it shows the actual like English, how to pronounce it. Dame. Dame. I mean, I mean, tap it because this is a real DDS Nintendo DS. Um, but yeah, so these are the Japanese characters. These are hiragana. E. E. Dame. Dame. Uh, hi. Hi. This is ie. Ie. This is. Uh, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Yeah. Uh, some of the characters look similar. <laughs> um, so this is how like every lesson is going to go. They're going to give us like 10 vocab that we'll need to learn. He. He. Dame. Dame. Hai. Hai. Ie. Ie. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. These lists of words are very useful. I I know. Oh, written in Latin letters. That's, yeah. And above the list of vocabulary are words with a couple of options. Okay. Um, so speak would be, it would try to use the microphone to tell whether you're speaking it right, um, which I'm just going to sort of trust. And then write lets you practice. So, call, yep, that looks good. Perfect. Um, I should probably grab like a piece of paper to do this with. <clears throat> Kore. How that's pronounced. Oh, exit. So this is Sayonara. 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 Kore. Kore. Sore. Sore. Uh, so, Kore is this, put your hold in. Sore is that, something far away from you. Um, thank you, is Arigato. Arigato. And this is I formal watashi. 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 Sayonara, kore, sore, arigato, sa uh, <laughs> watashi. I was doing memorization rather than actually uh, reading them. I'll need to master all the words in the lesson before we can move on. I track them by giving you mastery points. Um, this is just a good summary of what we're going to be doing in this project here. You master all the words in a lesson, you'll get a new one. That's right. You don't, oh yeah, okay, so you start out like the rank, how we're like a preschooler right now. You start out as baby and then uh, continue forward from there. So clearly we've gotten uh, a few steps ahead. Um, yeah, so this is that hit a word game. I don't like this one. 
Um, touch the gophers that say bad. So we're looking for dummy. Dummy, 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 dummy. Dummy. Let's say goodbye, sayonara. Sayonara. Okay, well, at least it's being very lenient because I put it on medium, which just makes it harder. This is EA. Uh, EA, EA. It just makes the whack a mole harder. It doesn't make the game any harder. That is Sole. Sole, 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 Sole. That was good. 92%. Watashi. Watashi, 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 watashi. See how this is not particularly helpful? Um, watashi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. Uh, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, 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 konnichiwa. It's very specific about where you click. I mean, tap. Konnichiwa. Kore. Kore, 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 kore. Ah, kore, kore, kore. Kore, kore, kore. Kore. Arigato. Arigato, arigato, arigato. Arigato, 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 arigato. Arigato. Good. E, 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 E. Ah, E. I did a very E job. We've already mastered all these words because, again, we are not a baby. We are a preschooler. 10 right out of 10. Nice. Did you get a lot of mastery points? Yeah, so you'll have to play the lessons multiple times. Multiple choice. Again, way uh, more useful of a game. Goodbye. Sayonara. No. Ie. Uh, hello. Konnichiwa. I. Kore. Arigato. Ie. Oh, dame. Hai. Sore. Sore. Watashi. Watashi. Good job, us. We're off to a good start. We'll be able to speak Japanese before you know it. I wish. All right, that's lesson one. Um, I'll try to do. Let me do like. How do I do this? Yeah, I'll do two lessons every day this week to do like the refresher week. And then next week we'll start one lesson a day with the lesson 11 that it wants us to do. So pronunciation is lesson two here. We're just going to speed run until we get to a point where it is not a speed run anymore. All right. Uh, let's look at some words that many people are familiar with. These are words that are commonly used in English. See how many you can recognize. All of them. English speakers pronounce them based on English rules, but the original words are pronounced quite differently in Japanese. They don't follow the same pronunciation. So, yeah. So here are some... In okay. So this is a word that I learned in Spanish class in high school. It was called cognates, which are words that are basically like the same in two languages are kind of like loan words or borrowed words uh, would be another way. So uh, we pronounce it karaoke, uh, but it's actually karaoke. 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 Um, and kamikaze. Kamikaze. Uh, karate. Karate. Which, if you watch SpongeBob, that's how you pronounce it. Uh, this we would pronounce anime, but it's anime. 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 And then manga. 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 
Kadoke, Kamikaze, Karate, Anime, Manga. Did you compare them with how they sound in English? Uh, the sound isn't the only thing that changed. Well, mostly the sound. In English, for example, manga and... An oh, okay. Yeah, fair. So, yeah. An anime, especially, is short for animation, which is just animation. Um, most Japanese people don't use the word kamikaze. I wonder why. Probably because it uh, is not a good thing to say. Uh, futon. Well, okay, so it's not a good thing to say because, like, you know, kamikaze is basically, you know, it's it's morbid. Um, has a lot of negative connotation. So one thing that you need to, like, think of when you're learning another language is the connotation. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this one is futon. 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 This uh, fu, fu uh, character, it gets pronounced weird. Um, or it's not how you would expect it pr to be pronounced. It's not really like a hard F. <laughs> it's a kind of an H sound. Futon. 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 Romaji. 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 That's just like an extension. Romaji. Tsunami. Tsunami. Samurai. Samurai or samurai. Samurai. Uh, and ninja. 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 Oh yeah, nin. I was saying ni, ni, ninja. 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 There are a few things I need to point out. Romaji. 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 So what we call Japanese that is written in English instead of, of, of Japanese characters. Romaji. So that's Futon. this right here is Romaji. This is hiragana. A futon is a mattress you sleep on in Japan. That's a mattress that I slept on until uh, January of last year. And it was very good, and now I sleep on a regular bed, and my back is rapidly deteriorating. I don't want to play hit a word. Please let me play another game. Uh, it's important to know how to pronounce words correctly in Japanese. Yeah. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Hey, I got a video called that. Let's go through one more game to get ready for the next lesson. I don't like word search either. We'll play it at least just to show the game. All right. Karate. Oh, we don't got a whole lack like, a lot of time. Well, Tsunami. Tsunami. Uh, let's see here. Um, manga. Manga. Um, karate. Karate. Um, see, it's the time limit thing. Like, this isn't useful for actually learning words. Um, uh, ah, okay, this, it gave me a hint. Thank you. <laughs> um, um, futon, futon, karaoke, karaoke, um, Yeah, I'm, uh, hmm. Oh, okay. Your mastery did not improve. No kidding, because that's not a helpful game for learning words. If you master all the words from this lesson, the next lesson will become available. So it shall be. Looking forward to teaching you more, so hurry up and master your words. I will. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so this takes you... The thing about these games, though, is if you play them outside the lesson, then it combines all the words in your, like, uh, open list. So if you're trying to just do a refresher on a single lesson, um, you can't really do that. You can only play the games that it sort of gives you in the lesson. So for that particular lesson, um, we're not getting any real... But then again, they're all words that, like, we'd be able to instantly recognize. Um, but that's fine. So tomorrow we will do lesson three, which is numbers, uh, and then lesson four, which is colors. So we're going to, uh, <laughs> refresh ourselves on the baby lessons of numbers and colors. I have been Brad Fiesta. Uh, how do I say that? We'll, we'll, we'll start with what I know. Watashi wa pan matsuri desu. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope your day is going exactly the way that you want it to. We'll get there. <laughs>